Well, Facebook's entire business model is built on harvesting your personal information, and yet somehow Blue Check Twitter just learned this today and freaked out when they found out. Cambridge Analytica, a UK data firm hired by the Trump campaign, is mired in a scandal after a whistleblower claims the company misled Facebook users in order to collect their personal data. Well, that sounds very spooky and was kind of spooky, actually. But weirdly, it wasn't that spooky six years ago. In 2012, the Obama administration found itself being congratulated by the media for how it gathered Facebook data in order to marshal votes. One Obama advisor says Facebook let them break the company's rules because, quote, they were on our side. Beverly Hallberg is president of District Media Group, and she joins us tonight. So, Beverly, thanks for coming on. Thank um, you. The, the core story here is shocking or no? Not as shocking as liberals want it to sound. Okay. So we really have liberals going after this story, saying there's something here. This is the Trump campaign who figured out a way to mine data that they shouldn't have. But what the Trump campaign did is exactly what the Obama campaign did, what the Hillary campaign did. What this is really about is Facebook, who was the poor actor. This was all before 2014, where Facebook, with the privacy policy we all sign up on, yes. um, where we say, sure, you can have my data. That is all legal. But what they did at that point is they not only said to a third party, hey, with this app, you can have the person's data who agreed to it, but they also took the data of their friends. That is where the issue is. It's the privacy, not just of you, but also the privacy of those that you're connected with. That is the heart of this issue. What we find from campaigns, they're just using data that's out there. And when you even think about campaigns these days, people are on social media. This is where right. you need to have campaign ads. So it's not a data issue as far as the campaigns go. It's what Facebook did at that point in time when it comes to their privacy. So Facebook also collects all kinds of data that you're not aware that it's collecting. For example, when you visit a store, Facebook knows that. Facebook can make assumptions about your net worth, about your personal life. And it sells those data to companies, correct? Typically. We, we willingly give it, whether it's a Fitbit that you're putting information right. in. I use ways to navigate traffic. I, I think about that and whether or not what is going to be used with that data. So we willingly give it. And I actually think, especially when it comes to parents, when you have children who are giving their information to apps, giving information to Facebook and other social media platforms, you have to realize all of that is available to companies to sell. I think where this comes down to is the free market solving it. You already had a movement called Delete Facebook. I think that's why Mark Zuckerberg even came out today, right. um, five days after the scandal, to talk about what really took place. Because I think the free market is going to solve this. Their stock um, dropped $50 billion. I think the free market is going to say, hey, I'm not going to use your platform if you're going to be selling my privacy in this way. Well, finally, liberals are waking up to it. But I mean, more as a political matter, so Morning Joe has spent the last year and a half trying to figure out how Trump got elected. Yeah. And figure out there must have been something nefarious. It could not have nothing to do with the idea that his ideas were popular with Americans. Like, that's not even on the table. Do you think Cambridge Analytica will be a satisfactory answer for them? Are they going to say, you know, this is how it happened? It won't be a true satisfactory answer, but I think they may want to use it. I mean, Hillary Clinton is still on the tour trying to figure out what happened. Well, here's the thing. This is not your answer either, but this is what liberals are trying to do to try to prove he is not the actual candidate. The impeached Trump um, camp is still moving on this, but this is really nothing because Facebook already changed their policies. Yeah. F Facebook is bad apart and aside from sure. the Trump campaign. Okay, fair enough. Beverly, it's great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, the Austin Shore Bomber is dead. Who